Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail based on one of the most iconic children's storybook villains ever, the Grinch. Now, this character was created by Dr. Seuss, and it was best voiced, in my opinion, by Boris Karloff. Now, having said that, there's been some great adaptations ever since then, but for me, as a kid, I never read the storybook, I saw the illustrated movie. And this is a fantastic kid's story. You know, especially the villain coming through his life, following through his plans, and then realizing he's doing the wrong things, and then turning to the light. That's what Christmas is about, at least in my opinion, and that's what I thought as a kid. I still do, I still love Christmas. However, this character is fantastic, and we're gonna make that cocktail called The Grinch. So let's get into it. Now, The Grinch is a simple three-ingredient cocktail that fits in a large glass, and for this, we're going to use our beer glass. This is a 15 ounce glass, and based on the ingredients, you'll understand why as we go through the cocktail. However, use whatever you want, right? So what we're going to do is build this in the glass, and we'll start by filling it with ice. Awesome. You know what? You're really gonna like this. Now, the first thing we're going to use is our white rum. Now, I'm using Lamb's White Rum. Because this cocktail is going to be a sweet cocktail, don't use an expensive white rum because you're gonna lose out a lot on the flavor. All right, so what we're going to do first here is use one ounce or 30 milliliters. Perfect. Now the next thing that you're going to grab is your melon liqueur. Now in this case, I'm using McGinnis brand melon liqueur. However, a lot of people suggest that you use Midori just because it's got that intense, highly neon green color, but this is gonna be fantastic. And for this, we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Beautiful, it smells so good. <laughs> I love melon liqueur. Now, the next thing that you're going to use is A, get rid of this because you don't need it, but we're going to top it up with your favorite lemon lime soda. In this case, I have some Sprite and we'll just pour it in like so. Oh yeah, look at that, fantastic. Now, take your spoon and what we're gonna do is just give this a gentle stir just to incorporate the color but you don't wanna stir so hard that you lose all of the effervescence. So this gives us a nice uniform green, fantastic looking. Now, the next thing you need is your garnish. And for that, we're going to use, or I can't speak. Uh, we're going to use your nuclear red cherries that everybody says, yeah, you don't need in a cocktail, but you know what? Sometimes these cherries just highlight exactly what you need it for, right? Here, and we'll put it on like so. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now what you wanna do, grab yourself a straw, slam it in there like so, and give it a taste. Oh, it is full of melon, a little bit of lemon and lime. It is a sweet cocktail, so if you find it too sweet, you could cut your Sprite in half or your lemon lime soda and use soda water just to cut some of that sweetness. But it is totally up to you. And this is the Grinch, super easy, perfect to do when you're having a party with lots and lots of people around. And you know what? You're not gonna get drunk off of these very easily. So if this is your first time in my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification. That way, every time you put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rock because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.